Have you ever thought about the political lobbying, the money that changed hands behind closed doors during election campaigns? This isn't a movie. It is a reality in Ghana and many countries across Africa. And it is the reason why you and I may never make it to Ghana's parliament. I am Isaac Kaleji, and behind me is Ghana's parliament house. Now, every four years, 275 people contest to enter this house. Now, what starts out as a contest of ideals and policies normally ends in a scramble for cash. Ghana is a democracy, and for years, it has been hailed as one of the best on the continent. In the last 19 years, all presidents have been elected and not one has overstayed their term. Ghana is therefore a shining example of how democracy should work, or is it? The last week to the elections, that they will bring those items. Sometimes some bring you a roofing sheet, some bring you cloth, diapers, um, buckets, money, sometimes televisions, sometimes motorbikes. And then after that, after, after they give you all those things, they will tell you that you have to swear. Swear no hope that, oh, I will vote for you. In 2012, political candidates had to raise 35,000 euros to fund their campaigns. In 2016, an average campaign cost 55,000 euros. That is two years' salary of an MP. Here in Ghana, political office is for the highest bidder, and the bids are skyrocketing. In the current contemporary times, the last election, you would have heard some MPs say they spent in dollars. In excess of $300,000, $400,000. So that's how expensive it can get. Mm. But personally, I, in 2012, I'm not too sure. I mean, I've maybe clocked maybe about, in today's terms, it'd be uh, $150,000 about completing. Many people spend much more. Like I, I keep telling you, you see, the consequences are not structured the same. If you take care to South, they have in excess of 200 polling stations. And so you cannot compare my expenditure to somebody at Ketu South. These are four key areas where the money goes. Campaigns, payment of party workers, advertisement, and donations. No, no, no. I don't mean donations made to the politician. Instead, donations made by the politician to chiefs, opinion leaders, at religious events, and cultural festivals. There are ad hoc ones. There you are, you wake up in the morning. Once you've stuck out your neck that you want to contest, then the school fees will start, then the assistance will start, then my wife wants to start a little business. Can I have a thousand? Uh, my son's school fees, and uh, my wife is in hospital, she's delivered, she hasn't got a, uh, uh, she needs support. You know, then you give, and it continues on and on and on. Campaign financing is a dark area of politicking in this country. There are laws on this, but there are huge gaps, and no one really gets punished for breaching these rules. Does this not breed corruption? Realistically, everybody who comes in will try to find a way to recoup their, their investment. And that means that they are going to break procurement laws, they're going to bend the rules, they're going to turn a blind eye, they won't do their oversight work. All this money means that for a young person like me, good ideas is simply not enough. We've seen, where, of course, uh, we've seen worse scenarios in Nigeria in terms of the monies that are, that are involved there. Uh, and we know that uh, in Nigeria, the problem you all you have is that you know you have people with very serious money who are able to pay for a whole host of people and therefore they capture you know large ways of the party uh, and they detect you know what they call godfathers 
they dictate what people actually do. And when they find themselves in government to the point that they can even decide who goes to, you know, which government ministry um, and, you know, at even the bureaucracy level so that they report directly to them and not to, to you know, whoever the political leader is. So you can get to ridiculous levels when you it becomes monetized to that level. And whoever has a lot of money can completely capture a whole party. And then really the democracy is just becomes a sham. Finding a godfather or a benefactor takes time wherever you are. But I am interested in knowing how the lobbying tradition is like in your country. So let me know under the comment section below. I'm Isaac Kaleji from Accra, Ghana. Until next time, Bye for now.